everybody and a very warm welcome to the latest episode of Hidden Jewels of Soul and Disco. I'm Nadine, I'm writing for souldisco.de and I think this week I'm presenting you with the first Stax record ever in this series and um, well, we're talking about Roy Lee Johnson and The Villages. Uh, honestly, the first time I saw this cover, I hold it up in the camera, I thought that it was a black and white cover and someone uh, painted it. But it's the way it is and um, it's a very weird cover. I found this record by accident in, um, in a record store. Um, the price ticker still on it says uh, 33 euros and I did not regret it any second. So about the villages there's not so much known um, this whole group just recorded one album because um, Michael James the best player died um, shortly after the recording session of that album and he was just uh, 21 years old um, on the back cover you see the group and uh, yeah the bass player must then be Michael James yeah, that's pretty sad because I wished um, I could have seen how this band developed. Um, the record itself could have been a James Brown record. They sound so much like James Brown, honestly. Uh, it's a killer record and I listen to it at least a few times a week because it's so tremendously good. And um, I would say, let's have a listen. It sounds dynamite, right? So, um, who is Roy Lee Johnson? Um, Roy Lee Johnson uh, is the composer of Mr. Moonlight and he wrote that song while he was still in high school and he's considered as a big influence for British bands um, who made it to the United States. And he was also um, an introducing act for Otis Redding and um, yeah, he had quite success, but you know, not so much, some, some hits and very talented songwriter, but he never could really make it that big. But um, his influence is widely known. And uh, well, he, he still recorded in the late 70s, in the beginning of the 80s, in the, um, in the, in the 90s, I think 1998. In the UK, there was an album uh, released um, all night long. I think where some of his recordings were um, yeah released so I show you the record you have seen it uh, don't be confused it's not it's not been painted it's been made that way um, this is the back so some additional information on the back Riley Johnson the name has familiar ring like maybe you saw his show once or somebody told you how Roy Lee and the villagers have brought the house down in Atlanta or a musician you met mentioned how he'd been down to Muscle Shoals and listened while the best horns in the business highlighted Roy Lee's bluesy contemporary rhythms. Roy Lee Johnson, he once said, I gotta keep moving, man. If I'd ever stop, I'd die. And you can tell by the unrestrained energy let loose on cut after cut that he still means every word. As a composer, his talent is undistributed. Check out Mr. Moonlight on the Beatles' 65 LP or almost any of the 10 songs on this album. Roy Lee Johnson, if the name wasn't familiar to you before, it will mean much more from now on. And if you do know about Roy Lee Johnson and the Villages, this album will be added to what you already have going on for you. 
Roy Lee Johnson, see him in person when you can. Listen to this album when you can't. You've got it, you've got it made both ways. Phillips, Phyllis J. Wickham, 1973 Stacks record. The combination of Muscle Shoals and, you know, this musician is really tremendously good. I show you the record. Yeah, I totally forgot to mention in the in the intro that uh, that yes, uh, Mr. Moonlight was covered by by the Beatles, and it made sure that he had some financial backpack. Let me put it that way, so he could yeah yeah found some some bands and tried to uh, tried some things which wouldn't have been possible without the money of the songwriting. So um, yes, side A. This is side A. You can see there's a little writing on that label, but it doesn't bother me. Otherwise, the record looks tremendously good. This is side two. Uh, concerning the price. I bought for this record 35 euros. Um, yeah, still the, the price stickers on it. Um, in a record store. And I went to that record store about three, four, five months later, I was traveling and visiting that record store, the same record, um, without the promo sticker and without, you know, it has some, some writing up here of the price sticker. And uh, as you have seen, it has some, uh, the same name written on the label, was sold in that same record store for 80 euros. There was nothing special about the pressing, it was an ordinary pressing. So, I talked to the guy on the counter and say, hey, you might remember me, I was here a few months ago and I bought the same record. And he said, yeah, I do remember. And I said, why is this one <laughs> double the price than the one I bought? And well, he was honest <laughs> and said, people are willing to pay that price. I want you to make aware that don't pay more than 40 euros for that record. It's not the usual kinds of records I'm presenting you between five to 15 euros. It's, it's really worth that money, have a listen to it, it sounds tremendously good, you can also listen to it on Spotify, but honestly, don't pay 50, 60, 70, 80 euros for this record, you can get it um, way cheaper than that, so I just want you to make aware of that. I totally understand that everything is getting more expensive, especially when you're having a store, you have to pay rent and energy and all of that stuff, but, well... That, 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 that was a little tough, but um, anyway, uh, it's a great sounding record, it's um, Ray Lee Johnson and he's highly talented and this group together it sounded amazing. So um, yeah, give him a chance. And um, for you, I wish you all the best, stay safe, stay healthy and I see you next time. Till then, bye.